I had just mentioned to Rebecca, hey, I need to prune this willow tree. About two weeks later, I came out one Sunday morning and a branch landed right on top of a peach tree that I have in the middle of this hugel mound. Today I'm going to attempt to repair that tree and salvage it so that it doesn't get damaged any further. But it just goes to show the irony of inaction. There's that limb that had broken out and had come and landed directly on top of this O. Henry peach. And this tree was completely bent over. There's some damage down low that I'm going to try to repair. I'm going to dig down so that I can expose the extent of this damage. I'll clean it out and then I'll try to repair this wound. This is a portal of entry for not only rot, but also insects as well. For the long-term health of this tree, I'm a little bit concerned that the repairs that I'm going to do today are not going to be sufficient. But nonetheless, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to trim off all of the, the loose bark that's there, allow this to dry, and then apply a basically a wound repair or a pruning sealer. Here's a look on the other side of the tree that's not being blocked by the sun, but you can see the extent of the damage to this rootstock. Any type of tissue damage to your tree can pose a, a health risk, but particularly on the rootstock itself because that's the basis from which all of this grows. So it's really critical that you try to make the repairs as soon as possible on your rootstock and be prepared for the possibility that this may not work. So be thinking about some succession planting. Infection, there's some pretty decent damage down on this rootstock. You can see this big crack, this big fissure right down the middle of it which is clearly a portal of entry for any type of insect, any type of disease that may want to enter this tree. So it's important that I get that sealed up as soon as I can, and we'll see where it goes from there. But I've got all this trimmed off. It's got it all cleaned up well as I can. And then I'm also going to be assessing these injuries as well. I'm going to be applying this pruning sealer. It's just got a brush on applicator. You can see that the sap that this tree has put out has done a pretty good job in repairing this minor wound. But as we progress down and we see this larger wound, there's really not a lot that this tree has been able to do in order to repair that. So we're going to give that a little bit of assistance as well as all of this damage down below. I am going to be dropping in another fruit tree right next to this, and I'll grow the two side by side. Succession planting is something that is actually pretty important with a lot of trees, but particularly fruit trees. They last maybe 15 to 20 years before they start developing issues. And the tree that I'm going to be putting here is a black pearl cherry, which is a semi-self-fruitful. So it will definitely benefit from having something that's going to be able to pollinate it close by it just so happens that about 30 feet behind me I've got a lapins cherry which I planted probably 20 or so years ago that's on its way out this tree right here still hanging in there my son-in-law came up with a, a pretty good deal got these trees about a hundred of them for five dollars just came out of cold storage about two weeks ago potted them up in these smart pots and at that time they didn't have any new growth but right now you can see they're pushing out new growth they will also be pushing out new growth into their roots. So I'm not going to remove them from this smart pot at this point, um, but I am going to be cutting the bottom of this smart pot out to allow those roots to have free access and don't have to work their way through this smart pot. I've turned this soil and loosened it about a foot and a half deep into this hugel mound. And I will be setting this pot in at about this level. And so the roots down low will have the ability to to reach into this native soil and then I'll be amending with compost up to this level and on out. Eventually that will come up to about this level here just below this graft union and then be brought over into this other tree keeping it below this graft union. One of the things that I've noticed as I've cleared out some of this vegetation is I've got some gopher activity here. 
right in between this Jerusalem artichoke. And so, go for hawk to the rescue. Well, it didn't take long. It's been about maybe two hours. We got a popped up. We'll see what we got here. See if we were able to. Yeah, we got him. Oh yeah, there you go, bud. Second one of the day. I feel pretty comfortable that I only had the one gopher in here, so I am going to pull all my traps and redeploy them elsewhere. This is the result of three different applications of the pruning sealer. brought in about a yard and a half of compost from the chicken yard and amended this entire hoogle mound. And I will fill in elements around those two central figures. It's now been about two weeks since I performed the repairs on the peach tree and planted its companion. Stay tuned for any future updates. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.